And so wonderful to see you again. Today's work. Have a look here. This is what is going to happen today. I'm going to be showing you what's called flow charting. And we're going to make one over here when you can flow charts. And we're going to choose a simple sequence. Click on choose. And they give us an example. Look here. A simple sequence. Now when I double click, if I move my mouse over there, I can double click and it's, it makes everything blue. Can you see everything's become blue? And that's meaning that it is selecting the text. We call the writing in here text. So if I double click it, you can see I can change that. Now I'm going to call this making coffee. And you guys are going to do this as well. You're going to make, show me the sequence. Notice the sequence. And we know that here it says sequence of events. So here, what does this word say? Start. So that's the beginning. Now when you're going to make coffee, what's the first thing you must do? Good. So we'll write boil the kettle. Who was the person that said boil the kettle? Christopher. Big thank you to you, Chris. Then I'm going to say put out some cups. Put out cups. Now, you don't write a lot. You just write a little bit in there. Then you're going to say put water in the cup and then you're going to go through all of the sequence of events put coffee into the water so i'll say put double click on it put coffee into the cup you guys can do hot chocolate and then if i want to move over here and make another one of these process squares these process symbols then watch i press control now you all know that control is on your keyboard and you drag you see that little funny arrow that you saw over there you drag it and release i'm going to let it go now i'm going to let go of my mouse so i'm going to drag and let go of my mouse look it made two of them so now i'm going to say put the coffee in put the sugar into the cup, the cup, and then I'm going to go to the next thing. Now, if I want to make another one of these green blocks over here, then I'm going to go on that little arrow. What must I hold down on my keyboard? Control. I hold, I'm holding down the control key, and I drag and release. And look, it made two, another one. Then I'm going to say add milk. And then I'm going to say, I'm holding down control because I want to make another one. Place on table. Table. And then I will go, I'm going to make another one this side. Or I can even make it down at the bottom here. So I'm going to go like, I'm holding down control. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to bring another one right down to the bottom here. And that's going to be, I'm just going to move this one. So drag that to there. And this one, I'm going to say drink. Okay. And then it's the end. So I drag this. Look how I make an arrow. That funny little arrow there. I drag to the end. So that means that this line, this arrow over here must be deleted. So I'm clicking on it to select it. And I press delete. And what I've done, and you only in grade three, grade ones, two, and threes are going to show me a sequence of events. So you're going to show me from the beginning, it goes there, and you, where do you, how does it know, how do you know which way to read it? You follow arrows. So you follow start, boil the kettle, put out the cups, put the cup in, put the coffee into the cup. Then look, the arrow's going that way. Put the sugar into the cup, add milk, place on the table, drink the coffee, and that's the end. Now I'm going to take this away, and I want you to be able to do this all by yourself, because you are grade two and grade threes, I'm going to hide this away from you, and you're going to see if you can do it all by yourself. Now, you're probably wondering, where must you save the work? Go here. Go on this button. It says, save file. Click on save file, and you're going to go to your class. 3C. And in 3C, look, it says, 
two chart activity you click watch how i show you click and look it's the it's showing it's open that folder is open now you're going to write your name my name's erin bradley so i'm going to go erin bradley 001 and i'm saving there i saved it in our folder so if i look over here i can say 3c two chart activity look it saved my file it saved erin bradley 001 I'd just like to thank you all for listening so well to my lesson and good luck with completing this task. I urge you once again to get mom and dad to subscribe to our YouTube channel.